watched the panel. Um, can you tell us about about the panel? Well, well, the panel was hilarious. <laughs> you totally missed yourself. I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, no, uh, the teasers were really this season seems to be. Last season was all about the darkness and the big bad, and this seems to be like a complete 180 uh, about family and smaller individual stories and relationship. So I think it's, it's a great idea. Where do you go after you've nearly you know, annihilated creation and magic? Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out with Rowena, who's probably not the most familial person. Is that, is that a word? Uh, so yeah. See how that theme pans out with Rowena. I don't know how she feels about having family. I don't think she knows about Gavin. It'll be interesting if there's... And I, I, I get on really well with Theo, so that'll be fun if, if that happens. I don't know. I'm, it's not a spoiler. I, like, I, I'm guessing that could happen. And obviously more yeah. that shepherd bloke. <laughs> what is it like working with Mark? <laughs> fun to have for his son. He is... Uh, one of the most naturally talented actors. Uh, you know, some people just have it, you know. Um, and so when he hits it as Crowley, it's easy, you know, it's like acting is blah blah, blah reacting. It's not, I don't just think acting is just reacting. You, know, you have to create something in the first place, but uh, it's, it's just been so, the relationship dynamic is just. It is, it, I haven't had to think about it. You know, I, obviously I think about it when I'm doing my homework, but when I'm on set, Mark and I have a great rapport, and I listen to him. I should probably shouldn't. I take his advice. Uh, yeah, and I love I love Sarah, his wife, and, and the baby Isabella. I just saw her last week. So yeah, it's all good. Well, Rowena has quickly become a fan favorite. Definitely my favorite, and I've been watching for years. <laughs> so. Can you give us hope that she's gonna last? I mean, I mean, everyone. I mean, I've been killed already, right? I came back, and they say nobody's ever really dead. It's supernatural. I'm so. I mean, I can't. I can't believe it. Like I started in this. I got this job. You know, pinned for, booked for an episode and pinned for two, and I'm now the longest running woman on the show and the longest running show. So, you know, it's like. I sort of can't quite believe it. And so everything from here is a bonus. I would. I would love. Just for their, as a woman, for that, for a woman, to to really keep going and you know to be the fifth wheel. I would love that, but I, I don't know. I don't know what those plans are. I, I mean, I did, I did when I read the script about my neck being broken. I was like, okay, <laughs> and I didn't actually panic that much. And something inside me said she'll be back. So I hope it continues. Thank you. <laughs> So I, she's really been affected by the, I want, and it was my hope as well, I was like, I hope that what's happened changes her in some way. So you do see, it picks up in, in season 12, there is a difference. She's, she's not, she's not the, exactly the same as she was. And it's interesting to see where that then goes, you know, she returns to form or my whole, real hope would be that at some point she really digs in deep and really finds her power whether it's with the Mega Coven or not, or I don't know, but she really finds her, her, because her purpose for a long time was just to get a coven, because that, that's what had been taken away from her. But maybe that's, that's shifted, so to, to really find what it is that she, she um, can really offer and do with, in the, with the world of magic, I think is, would be interesting. I think, she's a, I think she's a warrior for magic. I think that was the thing that was, she didn't care about the world so much, but it was like the end of magic. You know, to me that was the most important line for Rowena in season 11. You know, it was the end of magic. I love it, Bob, Bob, Bob Barron's wrote that for me. I love it. So lucky, haven't I? Get the best stuff. Good. You're shy. Um, you had to die again, and then you brought back again. Is there any particular like death scene that you would want to do? I would like Misha Collins to nibble in my ear and break my neck again. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't we all? Die, you know? <laughs> There's, yeah. I don't. You saw the. You weren't all in the panel, but there was the outtakes. A bit of the outtakes at the end, right? I was sure it was going to make 
the outtakes because he the last take he did on him he did actually bite my ear a little bit and I went <laughs> made a little noise and I threw myself I made myself laugh you know I did it made the noise deliberately but then I made myself laugh so that's always stupid <laughs> when you do that. You know what I love? I, it seems to work really well when I do stuff with Jared one to one. Huh? They're, you know, turning them into moose and stuff. That's always really fun. And there's a different relationship with Dean. There's a different. And that's what's fun is like. And I love the little bit I had with Castiel in season ten. I think Rowena was a little bit, you know, like fascinated by this angel. You know, and so I, that's what I love. It's like I've got four different relationships, four very different characters, and I, that's what I really like that and uh, I would love obviously to you know if I can work with Sam um, you know Kim I mean I think it would be bad for Rowena if she came up against Sheriff Jody, but uh, on a personal level I think Kim is a phenomenal actress absolutely phenomenal and Brianna's obviously a total laugh so that would be uh, that would be fun as well there's not a dud do you know what I mean there's not a dud in the cast there's nobody you don't want to work with and I'm, I'm and I'm serious about the boy toy thing. I said that in the panel. You know. They want to give Rowena a little bit on the side. That would be fun. Yeah. I always try to. Do, did you do you follow me on Twitter and stuff? So um. Yeah. So do you know when I, I was in Scotland when this last two episodes? Do you know I got up at. 4.50 in the morning because it was 5 o'clock and Emily and Lisa Berry, I would love, I'd love to work with Lisa more, with Lisa oh my god, don't you love her as Billy Reaper uh, so Emily would be streaming, they would be watching it in my cafe in, it, in LA, because I have this little cafe where I get everyone together to watch and live tweet the show, so they were streaming it and I'm trying to watch it through a camera watching a screen and so I'm very committed to the, to the, to the fandom and joining in as much as I can because I'm so appreciative of what it's given me and I enjoy it. I, I felt like I should have got a medal, uh, an early morning medal for getting up at that time in the morning. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? Alright, we're about to move on. Okay. So I'm hoping everyone got to see you again. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you.